In Commitment 2018 coverage, a look at Amendment 6. It's better known as Marcy's Law. You'll see it on your ballot. Morning anchor Mark Kelly shows us how the ballot initiative seeks to give victims of crime more rights. Well, keep in mind, those against Marcy's Law say with more rights, it will also be more stress on our court system. I'm going to explain that in just a second. But first, those who want this new law. With the right to remain silent. You have the right to have an attorney. What about my rights? In Florida, those accused of a crime are read their constitutional rights. But what about victims? Good question. What rights do victims of crime have? In the U.S. Constitution, the Founding Fathers didn't give crime victims any rights. But in our state constitution, victims are mentioned. It's just one line. It says victims have the right to be informed, present, and heard. But State Attorney Dave Ehrenberg says this single line doesn't go far enough. It's not too much to ask to put some language in the Constitution that doesn't equal the rights that defendants have, but at least gives some rights to the victims of crime. There are a lot of victims who are never told of hearings, who are never provided proper restitution, whose identity and location are never guarded. If passed, Marcy's law would give victims the right to privacy, being present at all proceedings, and to know when the defendant is released, to name just a few of the new rights. It's named after a California woman whose family was confronted by their daughter's accused murderer while he was out of jail, on bail. The ACLU, though, is against Marcy's law. They say giving victims that many rights goes too far and will bog down an already slow-churning judicial system. We worry that it's going to severely strap state's attorneys' offices to provide the services which are not funded in any way through Amendment 6. This is going to be an expensive prop proposition for the police and for state's attorneys. They won't realize the, p the bitter pill they're getting with Marcy's Law. Well, Marcy's Law needs 60% voter approval to pass. It's already law in a handful of states, and Florida could be next. Mark Kelly, WPBF 25 News. The FDA.